Welcome to another episode of the Kinseed series, and hopefully this time, I've hit the start button on the recording. Yay. <laughs> I was about to look over like, that should be a long enough episode, right? It wasn't recording at all. So, we're just gonna redo what we uh, did a minute ago that you didn't get to see. <laughs> Luckily it was before I slept, so I was able to reload the day. Though, oddly enough, this... Ah, there they are. <laughs> that was just a little quick, I guess. I was gonna say there was fruit here last time. And then we need to feed the pig. Hello. Uh, let's give you... No, uh, let's just give him one of these for now. Wow, it really filled him up. Whoop! Sorry, truffles. Okay, so nothing down here is ready. But I'm going to grab some honey because in our quest log, uh, we need to cook some food. We also have quests to take people food. Do that. So let's go ahead and do these jams. They're one of the only things I have the ingredients for. Let's do this and some honey. I'm going to start with the honey. Because it's the thing I struggle with the most in the cooking minigame. Okay, there we go. Now we need to try to keep the temperature good. Let's turn it down and then get the blueberries in. Before it gets too warm. Ooh. Bring that down so we can do the next set of blueberries. Bring it up a little bit. And now we need to keep it at a good temperature till the sand is done. Complete. Let's see, what do we got? Two star! I really like that you can look at this now. Um, it makes it nice to understand like why things are happening the way they are. So let's get these guys put in. Starting with the honey. Someday. Someday I'll do this in one go. Okay, let's put the blueberries in before it gets too cold and too hot. Is that that? All right, don't let it stay too cold. No. <laughs> so we only got one star because we got a minus star for our mini game. And I want to make. A strawberry one. So let's grab some more honey. Strawberry. Honey. And some mint. Honey in first. Did I do it? Oh my god, I did. Uh, let's get this in. Wait till it gets a little warm and then put that in because it really drops the temperatures. And then the strawberries. Complete. So it didn't do terribly. So it should be no negative at least. Two star. Okay. I do love cooking. Maybe I'll do one more. Maybe I'll do a simple thin stew. Some tomato. Cut uh, cabbage, yep, yep, and basil. This would actually be a pretty good soup. Can't really eat tomatoes, but... Oh, I was so close to getting it in one go. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I forgot to look at the times they take. Okay. So, that should probably go in. Oh, that wasn't quite right. And then this, we're gonna wait quite a bit. Maybe like that. Ah, it was close. I cooked, overcooked the cabbage just a touch, but I nailed the um, herb and the tomato, timing wise. Let's see, how did we do? Ah, we didn't get a negative, so it was close enough. Awesome. I don't want to do another one. <laughs> Alright, let's get this cabbage. I did it in one go. Get that guy going. Uh, let's go with 
now. That was close. Okay. Let's get these guys to the edge. And no. That might have been too soon. No! That was dang close. I, uh, it didn't yell at me. So maybe we didn't get a negative. Nice. Okay. Accept that. Perfect. So I'm going to head off and continue filling out the map up at the top. Um, going to Poppy Hill. That's not how you get to the fast travel spot. <laughs> um, so let's head up to the homestead. We have everyone here. Yes. Off to Poppy Hill. Right, so, we've got a book in here. Full of customs. And another one. And there's a note right there. Nope, map stone. Three to go. That's quite a few. Here's our fast travel spot. Can I grab this? No. On sunny days, in pools by flowers, firefish swim and gain their powers. Get a poppy. Ooh. I think that might have been our first poppy. We've got a book here. Oh, in summer down, when wind is strong, flagfish wave and sing their song. And then summer down, visitor's guide. Yeah. Poppies, frisky folk. Chemist men who like the smoke, rude statues, bakeries, weddings in the woods, randy lovers, cooking tests, and secret hidden family chests, orphanage, massive heads, and ranger by her tent, parties, poops, lots of drink, so much noise that you can't think. Windy day blown away, what more can do I have to say? I think Kirby Wheat started the fire, by the way. Which fire? Oh, let's uh, maybe... Oh, hello! Uh, Edward Wood. Well, greetings. Welcome to Summerdown. Good to see a new face that isn't full of crumbs and sauce stains. Just me and Daisy here. She's not the trusting type since what happened to her mother, but she's a good lass. Hello, Herbie. Introduce. Hey there, you. If you need any medical plants, then I'm your man, man. Our prices may be higher, but being high is not a bad thing, is it? Let's see. And then we've got his wife here. Hello, Ivy. Hi there, you look like the type who needs knows how to mix pleasure with pleasure. I could mix you something to give you a bit of extra energy and to make every sense a rainbow of dancing starlight. Uh, no thanks. Got things to do today. Can I take your stuff yet? Dang it. <laughs> I really want that, uh, aloe. We've got a note. Sky in the pie. Let's grab this guy. I don't know if that actually helps. Oh, I see the map's not up there. I don't know if that does anything. It used to be how you could tell who was on the map. And I did not recognize this person the first time through. And that's because it's Roman Salt. He's not a baby. <laughs> I'm okay, given how tough I've got it. <laughs> oh, we should grab the board in town. Hello, Celia. Oh, hello. It's exciting to see a new face around here. It would be nice to talk sometime. Conversation is thin on the ground in this house. Gotta be with you. Uh, anything you need in particular? I'm a busy man. There's too much joviality around these parts, and I have no time for japes or idle banter. I wouldn't pleasant. Uh, okay. Conception art. Woods in the woods. Alright, and what's up in this uh, area? Let's grab the this guy. There we go. Ooh, stuff to mine. I gotta remember to be doing that. So we're gonna need it soon. Since we own a shop. Ogre and above. By... <laughs> what quite the name. Uh, it's a book about complaining. Because he's had a really bad day. Pumpkin hail and hearty food. Coughs will come and does you good. A note. What do we got? 
Blackfish lets you see enemy life, but makes you sleep like a bored housewife. <laughs> we need to turn this off. There we go. Got a map stone. Two to go. Oh, let's walk right past this. Some primrose. Map stone? wonder what was right here. Excuse me. A duck! We got Poppy. And we've mapped the region. And then for homes, we still need to talk to these guys. Oh, and discover this sound. Where's. Oh, a note. Feel like facing all your fears? Catnip gives you braver ears? Sure. Uh, let's see. Nymphs are maniacs. Luffin? Say, you couldn't make it up like a Jew. I don't know that I know how to. Uh, let's see, what's this? Long bread. And cooking brilliant. By Gordon Blah. Oh yeah, I wanted to grab this. So you can add stuff to your calendar. Which is so cool. I love that that's how this works. I think she looks different. I don't know if she's maybe younger. Oh fluffy crusts, my lover, welcome to Poppy Hill. Home to the greatest pies and pastries known to women. I just keep aching to get bacon. I'd like to pop your cherry into one of my pies. Sorry I don't grow cherries. Grab this. Blueberry pie recipe. Oh, hello. I forgot your name. Pain, obviously. Hello. Are you a lover of dogs too? I am. I love dogs. I write books too. Perhaps you've read them. They're very useful. Did you know a dog shakes its tail when happy? I sometimes do that too. Oh. See you later. God, I want to be able to- Oh, you can. So say I was I miss getting all of this stuff here. But I, apparently I can. Oh hello. Uh Vera's Victory Veggies. So do we have everybody No, we still need to talk to the blacksmiths. Introduce. Near snails. Hello there, I'm near snails. It's funny because I work in a blacksmith where they make we make nails. I prefer painting nails than to making them personally. Yes, a new friend that loves collecting friends like I do nail polish. I bet you think it's strange that I work here and I'm nothing like a blacksmith. I told my father that I wanted to work with nails and he said I should try here. I didn't know it was a blacksmith's until I got accepted by Hannah. I meant fingernails. Well, as long as you uh, work well and enjoy it enough. Uh, how do? We make pretty good items here in our smithy, so if you want to buy out, Nearest is your woman. I shape she ships. Alright. Um, I am curious... Oh, you're a person too. Oh yes, Poppy. Oh, well hello, sapling. You look like a person who could uh, show a girl the darkest corners of a forest. We should go explore them sometime. You bring the wood and I'll make the fire. Well, you are a silky voiced siren. I wonder if the little caterpillar is trying to dig its way into my garden. Quite the sentence. <laughs> well, little caterpillar, you have a long tunnel to dig. Uh, have a good one. Thanks. Can you finish? I need to talk to the merchant, please. Ah, finally. All right, so what do we have here? Lots of ore. Uh, decorative mold, sword, bucket, and tin sword. Um, let's buy some things. Okay, so that when we have our shop, we have some things to make. Oh, hi, Daisy. Hello, Dad said I need to be polite to everyone. Treat others how you want to be treated yourself, Dad says. All right, so now I think we've talked to everyone here. So next I need to turn in a meal. We need to go to, oh, there's someone new. Kettle. So this is where we'll be traveling to. Hello. I forget they changed what this looks like. <laughs> so I wonder if they don't sleep, feel well. It's kind of an odd time to be sleeping. Uh, how's it going? What's up? I'm tempted to accumulate wealth, a wealth of rare fruit and veggies. Ours is not to reason why. Ours is but to do and not have a lot of good produce. Help a pal out and find me a rainbow mushroom. Okay. 
Um, do we have one? We do have exactly one. Okay. Thanks. Spot on. Got a little bit of friendship, reputation. Hello. Oh, you have something? Nice to see you. What's happening? I'm on the hunt for some common fruit and veg in bulk. This time of year, I like to fill up the larder with readily available stuff. Can you help me find a radish? Just a radish? Do we have that? No. Did you ever rethink or not got the right thing? Yeah, I didn't have it. I thought I might. Uh, so usually this is where uh, Ash lives. But now there's a baby. Hello. Introduce Tina. Alright. Apparently um, Ash has a sister now. Tier no, no. Okay. That'd be fun to go back to. So where... Oh, there's a book up here. Uh, so where's Ash? Because here it just shows the three of them. So, is it this one? Ash. Oh, he lives in the burial grounds. Maybe, let's see. It's five. What time is that quest? Journal? Calendar? There we go. Um, so that one needs turnips, that one needs tournament, and that one's seven. So I have time to go to the barrel grounds, I think. Oh, cuckoo doo. Uh, this doesn't feel right. Is this a dead end? It is. Okay. Oops. That's not for the burial grounds. <laughs> Here we are, the burial grounds. Let's check the map. Oh! Interesting. He moved into Ginger Nut's house. I want to tell you something. I'm only telling you this uh, to you as we are now the best of friends. I once saw Mag the Moghog in these very same burial grounds, way across the river by those tall rock columns, sleeping. I made a note of my experience in this book. You can have it, seeing as we're pals. I only ask one favor. I dare not dig up any of the old graves. I once buried a tin ward when I was more suspicious, but now I want it back. I just feel I may have upset the goddesses or spirits. Okay. Gotta go with you. Dig up the ward in the burial grounds. Get a dog to follow you and a shovel. Don't get the shovel to follow you. <laughs> and search the burial grounds for dig spots. Oh, okay. So we may need to get ourselves a good doggo to help us out. No. So I wonder what this house is called now. Uh, that Ash is here. Pebbly Mill. I think maybe it's still the same? It's interesting that he moved into this house. Alright, we need to find Kettle. Oh, here she is, I think. Is it you? Uh, yep. Tasks. Can cook, will cook. Let's give her stew. Just what was required. Cheers. Got some money, reputation, friendship. Nice. Kind of wish I had the clock. I wonder how much that would take. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think... Oh, no, it was down one. I just saw a place to travel um, to Fairweather. All right. So we need to switch out our lantern. Hello, Fairweather. Hey there. Uh, return to see my wares, child. I have a fine selection from my humble barrow. I'm a collector of curios from many places. The price is always is life. Now let us peek inside the sack. Take your time to choose. How much easier would life be with these marvels? This year's offerings are definitely intriguing. Hopefully it's available. <laughs> yes. So upgrade the... Time to upgrade the dandelions with this. And we've also got... Reduce the impact of bad loving with this charming, charmingly charming charm. 
And then this Marvel Smear. Use this Marvel Smear mirror daily to increase your virility. Let's go with the clock, please. Thanks. So it'll be two years off our life later. Alright, let's go ahead and travel home. Sleepy little pig. Oh, Winky has something. Hello, Winky. Ugh. <laughs> Decided to stuff my mattress full of herbs to keep away every type of hag, scorn, whim wibble nymph, goggle snatch, charn loon, papple tweep, humpty dumpty, ear crawler, snorkel, and face eating inky dinkly poo. Can you give me can you help me by getting a cuckoo do? And please also tell me some of those were made up. <laughs> sure. Uh, a lot of those sounded made up. But here's your kukadoo. Thank you. That's just the ticket. Ooh. Very nice. Man, I really like this clock. It looks so different than it used to, though. Hello. I didn't realize you glowed. How you doing? Good old pot. Always wanted to go to Evergreen and try their drinks. I'd like to go there, period. <laughs> well, let's, ooh, our berries and stuff are done. Yay. Well, it's good to have more supplies. But let's go ahead and head to bed. Let's sleep until the morn. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. We got to finish finding everything in Poppy Hill. We learned that Ash has moved out and that he has a baby sister now. That's a surprise. It's kind of cool seeing new uh, NPCs that weren't there uh, before. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.